after winning the national championship with Michigan. The Jim Harbaugh era in L.A. is in full swing, folks. Harbaugh will take over a Chargers team that finished last in the AFC West and will look to get a depleted offense back on track, but he's fired up and ready to get the ball rolling. Take a listen. Feels like New Year's Day, you know? Feels like being born. Feels like coming out of the womb, you know? It's like you're in there and it's, it's comfortable and it's safe and, uh, and now poof, you're out, you're born, the lights are on, the, you know, it's bright, you got chaos, people, people looking at you, people, people talking at you and um, uh, just feels good to you know, have it happen. Yeah, it feels just like being born because we all all remember that day when we were born. Yeah. Um, Each year, the NFL releases their list for the top 100 players in the league voted on by the players in the 2023 rankings. Just Herbert was ranked 32nd, but uh, dropped all the way to 75th on this year's list after injuries caused him to miss the Chargers last four games to end the season. I would say if you're arguing, is he overrated and he's ranked 75th on that list? No, obviously not. We at ESPN, Jeremy Fowler surveyed executives around the league. They had Justin Herbert sixth behind the likes of, you know, Allen, obviously Mahomes, Burrow, Lamar, and I think Matthew Stafford. That to me seems about accurate. So I would argue he's properly rated at this point in his career. Now to go to Joe's argument. You said uh, playing with Brandon Staley shielded him from criticism correctly uh because that game and i remember it very vividly they didn't Herbert didn't turn over the ball they lost because the defense let the jags score on five consecutive drives Uh, i saw a stat that uh, really blew my mind which is herbert actually has more go-ahead drives than joe burrow than lamar jackson but his team has a significantly lower winning percentage because while he has tried to win those games the defense has collapsed in big moments to say nothing of the struggles that they've had uh, with that offensive line and injuries on that offense so no i don't think he's overrated uh based on where he is being ranked and i think a lot of the criticism of him is overblown and and to go back to something i made when we were talking about josh allen football is a team sport and what you're describing as overrating herbert is simply people trying to acknowledge the context uh, of the fact that quarterbacks alone don't win football games very well laid out. A uh, quick follow-up, if I may. Oh, oh sure. I mean, okay. Oh, sure. The game you referenced against Jacksonville where the defense couldn't get any stops. Yep. Brilliantly laid out. How many points did Justin Herbert's offense score in that second half? So, uh, going back and watching the I'm offensive sorry, it's drives, just a, it's which just I've a simple done multiple times. <laughs> oh it's a simple gosh, answer. Joe. It's a simple <laughs> answer. It's just a number. The number is? Yeah. They didn't score because they couldn't run the ball for hell and then the offensive line couldn't protect him. So there you go. But that's where the franchise quarterback has to make a play. We don't need him to go score 21 in the second half. We need one drive. We need one drive to put the Jaguars away. Not Mahomes and the Chiefs, the Jaguars. They couldn't get one drive out of him. But Staley takes all the heat because, you know, he probably mismanaged the fourth down that, if you look at it analytically, he probably made the correct decision. Do you think Joe Burrow, pardon me, do you think Justin Herbert then is worse than 75th? Because the question's over whether or not he's overrated and we're going off of this ranking. I go overrated not based on this ranking. Like, I know that that's what we're supposed to be doing, but it's an arbitrary number that really devalues anyone outside of the quarterback position, right? Quarterbacks are going to carry so much value in these things, and then other positions which have such a major impact are not going to be counted for as much. Just like certain key players that might not be known as well, like Kieran Williams, the running back with the Rams. Mm -hmm. How many people are getting excited about him this year that really know the game? Where would they put him in the rankings? Well, he was with the Rams. It was one playoff game. It was one season. So he might not get a high rank. If you pay attention, that dude is a lot better than where most people would rank him. So what's great about this conversation is because... No, 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 no. We, a lot. Take a breath. Okay. Take a okay. breath. Okay. So, uh, because I, I agree with Mina, Justin Herbert is not overrated, right? But what I find interesting with Justin Herbert, to your point about Brandon Staley being that bulletproof vest, he does not get criticized to the extent that some of these other quarterbacks, and Mina talking about this is a team sport, but when we look at Lamar, when we look at Dak, when we look at Josh Allen, when we look at Joe Burrow, when we look at all these guys, CJ Stroud is coming up. We need them to make a play. We need them to, to rise to the occasion. It's not just about their team. That's the reason they're paid the money that they're paid. 
And I think where, where we look at some of these other quarterbacks and we say, well, Dak's not worth the money. Two is not worth the money. This guy's not worth the money. And then we look at Justin Herbert. It's like, well, he's handcuffed by his coach. Or, oh, now we're going to see. Because he's got, he's got arguably one of the best coaches that college and the pros have seen. So now I think this is the season and next year under uh, Jim Harbaugh where we get to know for sure what Justin Herbert's ceiling is. Because the talent, to me, at this point, is unequivocally there. But now we get to see him with better coaching. He's going to pop. This is a great stock to buy right well, now clearly. based on all of this. He is going to pop. Once they start running the ball and playing a little defense and having some coaching that's not going to take you out of the game in the yeah. fourth quarter, his oh, stock's so he's rise. not. It, so the stock is overrated now, but it'll rise? I'm sorry. I think Molly needs to go to no, the I, 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 was, I just, I I just want to know what sorry, we're saying. I, was I, think, just gonna, I think this conversation's over. I was just going to say, I, <laughs> think, I think he already popped. I, mean, I don't know if we have the picture of him with his new haircut. I think he's already popped. Uh, Mina, there. will you please take us home? Well, I, I guess to Kim's point about him not being criticized uh, in the way that maybe Allen or Lamar is, I, the consensus is that those quarterbacks are better. Setting aside the 75 rankings, just about every quarterback ranking I've seen has them above him. So if we're debating whether or not he's overrated, I guess the real comparison, Kim, it would be more like, okay, you're comparing him to like a Dak Prescott or a Tua Tagovailoa because uh, the rankings that I see, including the one that Jeremy did, have him in that tier. And if you think that those quarterbacks are better, that's fine. I don't believe so personally. Uh, but that to me is the debate we're having about Justin Herbert. All right, team. I really enjoyed this. Are you enjoying ladies edition of First Take, Joe? I feel like I'm getting ganged up on a little bit, <laughs> well, but you know, it's kind of nice. We'll let, you, we'll let you stay a little longer. You're really holding your own. I'm really proud of you. Can I get one of those matcha teas we're all drinking? <laughs> oh, look at you trying to get on the matcha train. Look at you trying to get the antioxidants. <laughs> yep, Nina, come on Nina's, the bandwagon. Come, on the, just the, come on the bandwagon. Hey, welcome to Mina. I mean, that's just who she is. It's on brand.